All right, what's up? It's Mr. Jake. Oh, uh, you're, you're watching uh, my sleeve collection part two. I made this part two. I said I was gonna make in part one. I said I was gonna make it two parts simply because I had too many shoes. And I didn't want to make a 30 minute video. So if you haven't watched that, stop what you're doing right now. Go on the link below. Uh, click the bio. Go to my page, whatever, and watch part one. Cause it's no need. You don't watch part two of a movie without watching part one. Uh, but uh, if you did that, good. Watch the video. Boom. Like I told y'all, Kevin Durant is my favorite player. It's my favorite model of shoe, period. Out of all, every shoe, this and the LeBron 9 is my favorite model. These KD4s, man. It's a KD4 Easter colorway. They look the best on, KD4 is one of the best shoes you can put on your feet, man. I just love that. And I got these for, I think these, yeah, these are another 2012 pair. I just love this shoe, man. Inside, you know you got a little purple for Easter. You got the purple lace tips. Got a real, you can't even see that four in between now on this model, but yeah. This, this, this shoe is just so, the color is just so beautiful, you know what I mean? Boom, uh, Jordan 6 Chinese New Year. So I know I said I don't like Jordans, I don't get too many, but this was an exclusive drop, and you could obviously see why I got it, because I told y'all like crazy stuff that pop. Just look at what's on the shoe. Chinese fireworks. This is actually stitched. Got stitch petals. Got a stitch rose on the back. And you got stitch. Come on, man. You got a stitch gold Jordan jump, man. You know what I'm saying? Go. Then you got a gold. You know, you got the little gold lace lock. So I mean, come on, that's common sense. What I had to get. Carry five ink it. And this carry is uh, made after the pyramids, actually. So uh, Kyrie's a real eccentric thinker, I think. That's what you should call it. I don't know if I said that right, but he thinks outside about a very smart dude, I would say. He actually married his out to the Inca. So you know the, the little chunk in Egypt. He said the purple reminds him of the of like the sunset. This is obviously the same. This is the Inca had a red nose, so I mean he got a couple signs on the back. He got the verse, whatever sign this is. And then he has this sign on the back of the other one. So yeah, beautiful pair. Got these when they came out too. On the tongue is Concepts. It was made by Concepts. You know what it is. I have some questions, baby. You gotta have a pair of these. <laughs> Got to have a pair of these. Self-explanatory, dog. Actually, I need to find that. I've been playing. I need to find the red, paralyzed red too. Yeah, so. Three on the back, you know. I mean, this don't gotta say much. Another phone. I remember when the Galaxies came out in probably like 2012. They came out that same All Star pack, and I couldn't get them. Of course, they still like thousands, but I could get the Big Bang alternatives. They came out in probably like 15. That's what these are. So, yeah. Not as good as the Galaxy, but it's the next best thing to it. So, what can I do? We got the LeBron 9 Elite. Like I was saying, my top two favorite shoes. Favorite models, this is in the top two behind the, behind the KD4. This LeBron 9 Elite, it's called a Taxi. I mean, you can see why it's called the Taxi. Carbon fiber here. Story is, I remember when these came out when I was in middle school, there's no way I had 240 to drop on them. So I got these a couple years later and I got all of them for less than retail, around 160 on eBay, if not some lower. Yeah. That's what you gotta do, wait it out, man. I told you if I like a shoe, LeBron 9 Elite Home. This is the most beautiful shoe, dude. I love this. And this pair is actually a little different than what retail. So I actually added this gold to my pair. Gold here, gold here, gold there. And these gold deposits. I actually added this to this pair. In the store, they were all white. So they didn't come with that extra gold. They just came with this gold here. Added that. Nice little touch. And I just love that foil. You know what I'm saying? That gold foil, like. Yeah. Brian Nine on song. 2012 stuff, you know. Fly wire got through there going gold. Crazy. Come on man. Come on man. I don't got nothing to say. Y'all know what this is. You know what this is. South Beaches, baby. Like I said, I got both of these, all three of these LeBron Nines, probably around 160. A piece, a piece, you know what I mean? Never put the green laces in there, always keep it pink. You know I like the pink. I got a pop. Yeah. 
This is actually a sample I got off eBay. So it was the LeBron nine. You can see how much dust on them. You got it was uh came out with some hazelnuts. And that year he actually wore these in the playoffs, I think. No, he didn't wear these in the playoffs. He wore these in the regular season. He had a pair like this with all red suede. So I actually bought the hazelnuts, as you can see, and turned them into the red suede. So this is a pair you won't see. You also also wouldn't see the hazelnuts much either. Run 10. I brought one. I wish it was a way to change that. Probably is, but so I just keep this just for keeping Nike B ball adapt. You know, uh, this should retail for 350. Did I buy it for 350? No, I actually probably bought it for 280. And I had, to, and I don't spend that much on shoes, but I had to simply because the shoe self laces itself. You know what I'm saying? See these buttons here? I press these buttons, and the shoe tightens up on your foot. You know what I'm saying? So this is like in the future stuff. So yeah, I had to spend. It's the first self lacing shoe in the world. Of course I had to spend 284, you know, that's just history, you know. Have I worn it much? No, but do it matter? No. And then the shoes actually come with a charging pad. So like while it's charging, you sit them up there and they charge yourself. You got to change the color of these lights. See y'all can see that. See the lights come on. This button tightens the shoe. One button loosens the shoe. That's Kobe 7 Christmas with Cheetah. Uh, well, I like this one. It's Kobe 7, one of my favorites. Uh, two, the dog on color combo. I'm been watching this game Christmas Day. You know what I mean? In 2012. So, yeah, beautiful. Also, like this came with the high. It also came with a low, too. The low was this. Uh, most Kobe 7s didn't come with this boot, but you know, I love that. So, Nike SB Ugly Christmas Sweater. This also came in a black. These are from like 2014. 2013, my fault. It's a Christmas sweater. Common sense, you know. Very dope Christmas designs on it. Also comes with the red lace, but I don't like that in here, so. They also came in a black. I don't have a black pair. The black pair, for some reason, cost more than the gray. And I actually caught these on the auction for 80, so I got lucky. We getting into some more heat. KD4 scoring title. If you know, you know, I ain't gotta say much. So Kevin Durant, my favorite player, another model from 2012. Uh, Kevin Durant won three scoring titles in a row. So they made him a shoe, you know what I'm saying? He should ask, I think he's a four time scoring champ, four or five time scoring champ. But yeah, so they made these, he won three in a row. You can see the shoes like, has the averages on it. I actually caught these for a steal too, 140. You know, if anybody knows, it's like a $300 shoe. So. Has his averages right there in each basketball. The history behind this alone, man, you copy it. You know, Kevin Durant's favorite player, you gotta have his shoe that marked his scoring title, you know? It's common sense. Boom. Nike basketball again, this is LeBron Sevens. So this is from another pair from 2009. Caught on eBay for like 120, great condition. So you know what I'm saying. LeBron, LeBron been, LeBron had it. He was in his bag with a couple of shoes, man. You know, y'all know what this is. Nothing special, but just beautiful, solid. You know, solid. Another uh, Kyrie, another Kyrie Five SpongeBob. So as you know, like I just told you. I love Kyrie's shoes because Nike brought back that creativity with him. So, yeah. SpongeBob is my favorite TV show also. So, I mean, you know, I had to do that. You know I had to do it to him. I love the time. See this Nickelodeon here, you know? I haven't even worn this probably about one time, but I want the whole pack. I want to get, man. I want the Squidward, the Planktons, all that. So they came out with some Squidward ones. Uh, Patrick and Plankton, so and Sandy, so I might eventually, but no rush. If I catch them for a steal, I catch them for a steal. But this is another LeBron 9. I actually got these uh, like last week. LeBron 9, told you my favorite shoe, 2012 stuff, you know, uh, Miami Hurricane. Common sense. You see, you, when you see it, you know exactly what it is. If you didn't even know this was called area, I mean, you would know from the details, cream and orange, you know. 
I caught these for 130, I think, just last week. So, actually, no, I caught them for 100. Yeah, 100 flat. Beautiful. A couple weeks ago, I caught these for like 110. LeBron eights. So these are from 2011. These are the V2s. If you don't know about the LeBron eights, they come in three different versions: V1, V2, and PS. The V1 is what you wore in the first half of the season before All Star break. The V2 is what you wore after All Star break, and the PS is what you wore in the postseason. I do think it's a P, a V3 too, but these are V2, so yeah. And these are all the LeBron models I like. I got a seven, eight, and nine, and I got one ten. I do have a four too. You don't have to stay true for that one. Yeah, I got a four, so I do want the Skittle fours too, but if you know anything, you know they like. This is simply my all-time favorite shoe. Favorite model, favorite color. Oh, I don't have a shoe that I like more than this. And it's the Kevin KD4 Galaxy. 2012, it came out with that all-star pack with the LeBron Big Bangs. Man, this shoe is just... The creativity, Nike, like I said, man, Nike was really on one this year. So you got the strap, right? See, a lot of people don't like this strap, but when you put that strap on feet, you know what you're doing? You gotta put that thing right on them jeans. So, I mean, glow in the dark soul, of course. Galaxy theme still. You got a starry, so your so your midsole is like a starry night in the galaxy. Flash 3M tongue, so you can see it's lighting up now. And then on the tongue, you got the, the Pegasus or whatever, KD35. And you got a stitch KD4 on this one. Yeah, that's my favorite shoe, man. Um, another KD4, KD4 playoff. And this is when he was in the, he wore these in the Western Conference Finals that year. They went to the finals, but he didn't wear these in the, I think he did wear these in the finals, but they called it KD4 playoff. Yeah, so simple color. He, when he was still in OKC with James Harden, Westbrook, and everybody, this is actually a playoff. It didn't come out during, with the rest of the KD4s. So this actually came out like, 2018, they did a little playoff pack. And that's what these are, real simple. Like I said, I, it's not more so for what it is, it's more so for the story behind it. When he wore these, I wanted them when, they, when you used to see them on TV, it was a player edition. You know, they came with a little, with a little tag on, with a little nice little jump. Yeah, so, uh, I think that's it. I actually, no, I lied, there's one more pair, and I have actually never wore these shoes. I don't really intend to, but I got them for just what they are. Uh, this is the Curry One Mid. So, it's the Curry One Mid, and it's suede, it's red suede. Never worn, you can see there's still factory lace or whatever. The reason I got this shoe is because it's only 160 in the world, 140 in the world. It actually came out with three different colors. This, a olive, like a tan, and then a I think it was a black, and of course I had to get a red. Like a red suede shoe to me is just, I can't really go wrong with that. Would I ever wear these? Probably not, because it's not my style. Uh, but having a shoe that's 140 in the world, you know what I mean? They came with some more laces too, so yeah. I keep this, you know? Yeah, so. Okay, wait, I recorded a video, but I forgot one pair. This is probably the most special pair to me. Uh, well, not to me, but one of the rare pair. LeBron 4 birthday, so this is LeBron 4. So this is like, what, 2007, probably? Yeah. Yes, probably something like that. Anyway, so instead of a box, they came with like a little carrying case. It's birthday right on there. Still got the, still got the plastic on that, you know what I mean? I didn't show, a lot of these shoes have special boxes that I didn't show, but so I caught these on eBay for like 220. Round four, you know. Yeah. If you know, you know. Uh, they have birthday year on the back. Birthday year on the back tongue right there. You got a birthday cake actually inside the shoe. Can it show that? Can it show that? You can see right there. Yeah. So it's the only pair I missed. I wanted to do that. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you watching and stay tuned for more.